in October, we had um, a man named John, John Young come and speak, and part of what he talked about was the uh, low uh, membership of organizations like the Sierra Club and the Audubon Society. I wonder what you think the future of organizations like that are. I mean, is everything changing in the sense that people are going to be more engaged in social media rather than being part of the actual well, th all those are, and, and I think that was, you know, part of the trouble that I ran into was people interpreted what I said, you know, when I say John Muir may no longer be relevant as saying that the Sierra Club is no longer relevant. And I didn't say that. And I know that, and, and I, you know, I, I, I knew beforehand and now I really know because they, you know, <laughs> they, they told me you have to come talk to us. And I went to San Francisco and spent a couple hours talking with, you know, them and learned much more about what they're doing. And I, I, you know, I had known much of that already. They're doing a heck of a lot to try and reinvent themselves, to try and figure out how to engage, you know, with uh, diverse Californians, diverse Americans. That, you know, and, and part of that is they're desperate to figure out how to connect. You know how to matter, and and I think they're doing I think they're doing a really great job, and it's also causing them to rethink their relationship to communities and not come in to communities and say we have the answers, you know, and we need your you know we need you to get in line and help us you know, uh, you know stop this development or put in you know this protected area, but um, but they're going into communities and and you know asking what's important in those communities. Mm -hmm. And sure, coming in with their basic, you know, environmental goals and values, but understanding that they gotta meet halfway and listen. So, you know, I, I you know, there's a lot of really good, important work, you know, happening in, in, in the environmental uh, organizations, uh, as well as in the National Park Service and in California State Parks to figure this out. I would agree. I think that they really are making a very genuine effort, and they're making a genuine effort to reach into the cities and, and to redefine nature, including the Sierra Club. Absolutely true. I think when you stand back, there is a larger context here, and, and that is this fact that people don't want to be spoon-fed. There's many different ideas. They all want to be heard, right? And I think that the dynamics which brings people together in these organizations that have a hierarchy are changing in this country. And I'll give you two examples. The Occupy Movement. Occupy Movement got a lot of attention, a lot of excitement, but it, and, and there was no end game. There was no focus, there was no leadership, and no one's occupying anything anymore. <laughs> and on the other end of this political spectrum, the Tea Party. You know, the Tea Party was you know, formed, but it, it eschewed and, any kind of hierarchy, and, and it was almost like, you were an individual, and that's what defined you as a Tea Party member, or you're a libertarian or something. And again, its, its sway has kind of collapsed. And so I do wonder if there isn't a larger context with, with the grappling with organizations in, in a, a landscape where there's so many voices can now be heard and want to be heard. And, uh, and, and so I do, I do wonder if there's, there's other deeper things than just the environmental uh, club membership. It's a lot of clubs. A lot of organizations that are losing members. And so I think this is broader. 